So let's take a look at how we can use the role-based access control to give other users, uh, other Extreme Cloud IQ users access to our network. For example, this would be a scenario where you want to enable an external support uh, person or a partner to help out with either monitoring or configuring this environment. So you go under Global Settings, Account Management, and you will add a new account. And with accounts, there's really two ways. Um, if, if the user you're trying to share this with doesn't yet have an Extreme Cloud IQ account, you will, simply connect, you will simply create one by adding their email address here. But more commonly, you will grant access to somebody that already has their own account. So all you're doing is basically telling the system that that person, after they authenticate, do have the option of going into your, uh, what we call, virtual IQ or your own extreme IQ instance. So we will add a monitor role to myself on another different, on a different account. And you can do this based on a location. So the role-based access control does work based on locations. So not only are you limiting them to your deployment, you can actually limit them to a part of your deployment. So we'll give, we'll give this user monitor role access to uh, training uh, location and uh, to, the Farnham, to the Farnham location. So let's do that. Successful. And in here, you'll see I've logged in with my other account as well. And currently, um, I don't have any other deployments. So this is when I was logged in before I added myself uh, as an external admin to the training account. And let's refresh this page. What you'll see now is a new account has popped up, or actually a new deployment has popped up, and now I have access to this deployment. So this is me logged in with my other account. And log, if I log into this one, I will now see the exact same thing that we're using in the lab, but in a limited fashion. So I only have monitor access. I won't be able to push out any configurations. So let's revoke this user. So delete access to our training account. Okay, so you see access has been denied immediately. And I can no longer use that external user to access uh, this VHM that we're using in the lab. So this is basically how RBAC wor works. Um, it's pretty simple to deploy and pretty simple to use, but it can allow for a lot of different options.